The National Civil Rights Museum recently celebrated its 21st annual Freedom Awards. The ceremony was founded in 1991, which was the same year the hotel was turned into a museum and opened to the public. The museum's president, Beverly Robertson, said events like the Freedom Awards are significant because it highlights those doing great in the community and a history that goes untold. I think this event also served as a reminder of the important history that has been created by a number of individuals who have made some tremendous sacrifices for the benefits and the um, uh, liberties that we all now enjoy. I'm here at the Cannon Center where an actress and humanitarian, a Nobel Peace Prize winner, three doctors and a lieutenant to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. were honored this evening at the Freedom Awards. The ceremony featured a performance by Miss Patti LaBelle and honored the three doctors with the Legacy Award for spreading their message of persevering through plight. Dr. Muhammad Yunus was honored with the International Freedom Award for creating a bank which provides credit to 5.6 million underprivileged individuals in Bangladesh. Civil rights activist Bernard Lafayette was honored with the National Freedom Award for his work during the movement. And Memphis's own That Girl, Marlo Thomas, received the Humanitarian Award for continuing the work her father started 50 years ago at St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. The hospital would treat all children regardless of race, religion, or a family's ability to pay. And St. Jude became the first fully integrated hospital in the South. The Freedom Awards ceremony is not the only way the museum is fostering its message of freedom. It is entering phase two of renovations to the museum with the goal of making it even more interactive to its visitors. Joshua Bolden, Downtown Memphis, Insight News.